Actually, you know what? At least in the profile picture, Aneta doesn't look as much as Candida. In fact, yeah, they have relatively different facial structures. That's interesting. Okay. And then she can I go ahead and have that. So most for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can change her color at level one? I'm just confused. I don't, you weren't, I wasn't able to do that before. At least I don't think so. Huh. Oh well. Alright, Vanetta. You are going with our elite people to get us some stuff. 4,100 experience. Uh, we'll send these two. Along with Gabriella. Candita. Dulio. There we go. That's all my spare guys. That give that will give her crap. That gives her just underneath it. Eight hundred plus six hundred. That'd be, you know, thousand four hundred. Hmm. But if I took away Aneta, it'd still be a hundred percent at the same time as getting Bianca a thing. Mmm. Intriguing. Okay, alright. Go, Bianca. You need your... Wait. No. No, no, no. We can do something different. We don't need to do that. We can just do... This. 84% chance of survival. And if they survive, then that means Bianca will be a master assassin, and Aneta will be level 7, just like Bianca was. Go! Alright. So what else do we have available on missions? Not all that terribly much. Oh well. Huh. <sighs> The point is, we have them on a mission together, and it's it's cute. We got Aneta and Bianca together, so it's like both of the female recruits are working together. It doesn't matter that they're female, but it's just that the the only recruits that we have are currently on the same mission together. I can imagine them, just like a. It could be just like one of my Japanese animes, Kawaii Desu. Aneta-chan, Bianca-sama. Ezio Sensei. <laughs> Let's fucking go into this cutscene. Come on. <laughs> oh, I entertain myself. Woo! Volpe, how goes Roma? Very well, Ezio. The French and Papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. What's going on? Are we about to have like one final strike? La Ashaya Wakon Mutlak, Bel Kulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. I recognize none of those recruits. Lara, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, the brother, once stood around this fire, fighting off the darkness. Now, I offer the choice to you. Join us. Oh, oh this is gonna hurt like a bitch. Damn, she's taking it like a man. Not even a man, like an unhuman person. I couldn't take that, I'd be screaming like a bitch. I'd be like, sure, I'll become an assassin. Oh, oh, oh fuck that burn! Eye on many issues. Because yeah, oh. but you are exactly what the order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs, at the head of the assassins. Okay. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore. The guardian of our order and our secrets. Huh. All right. I'm your mentor. Still, I'm just officially Without titled that. Blindly follow the truth. Remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. true. Everything's permitted. Where other men are limited by morality and law, 
Remember, everything is permitted. <laughs> Take your leap, La uh, Claudia. <sighs> Why this sudden change of heart? I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli! Cesare has returned to Roma alone! He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo! Grazie. Mm. Well, the decision is yours, not mine. Niccolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Go kill them, Mentore. Finish what you started. All right. Good advice. I guess we're gonna go kill Cesare. Oh gosh, I hope this I is the final I intend to write mission. a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. <laughs> so the leap of faith is into the water. I was like, I was like, we're leaping. We're doing a leap of faith, but there isn't a hay bale there. So we leap into the water. That's interesting. Memory synced. Sequence 7 complete. Alright. Achievements. Bloody Sunday. Oh, uh, I get it. Because there are seven days in a week, and the seventh day is Sunday? And so it was Bloody Sunday. And then there was like the elements of other stuff because it had like Jesus Christ and... I see what you did there with the achievement name. Okay. Sequence 8. The Borgia. Hmm. That sounds like final sequencing name kind of stuff right there. Huh. Maybe not just yet. Hey. We have some final things that we need to take care of, such as going to the blacksmith and seeing what he has on him. And we need to do some we need to do some rhymeless missions, man. We have all these areas available to us now. We can definitely knock some of them out of the park. As soon as I check out what this blacksmith has for me. What kind of new objects do you got from McGroski? Only weapons? Lame. <sighs> you silly. Wait, 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 wait. Expected earnings is about less. However, that put 5,000. Now, is that a, is that really a million? Or is that something else? That is, that is definitely a million. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> I'm not putting a million ever into anything. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's get out of the Animus. We're going to check out and see what if we got any dialogue with Lucy, Rebecca, or Sean. And if not, then, well, we'll just look at their emails because why not? Keep in the loop. Woo. What's up? Hello. Uh, I guess Lucy finally decided to get the fuck back inside Desi's the place. Back. What's up? How long do we have before the Templar satellite launch? It's October 8th, so that leaves us with 74 days. Not much time. Think about all that you've been through in the last month. 74 days is a long time. Yeah, I've lived a full life of an assassin, man. Come on. We're getting closer to the apple. I can feel it. If it were up to me, you'd take more breaks. Good thing the fate of the world doesn't rest on your shoulders. Hey, joke all you want, but your mental health is a serious concern. It only takes a couple of months for most Animus users to exhibit extreme side effects, and you've been in for prolonged stretches of time. I'll rest once we have the apple. I was afraid you'd say that. Yeah. Gonna have a bad time. But, whatever. What's up? Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? He was notorious. Get this. In 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them, and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinigalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains and, and killed a few weeks later. Huh. Wow. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, they never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the master deceiver. Okay, so wait. So Cesare isn't Caesar, right? 
I, I, I'm bad with time and stuff. I don't actually know when Caesar existed. The whole story with Caesar and Etu Bute, I don't know. So Cesare was pretty secretive. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, except, weirdly, when it came to sex. After his wedding, he sent a letter to the Pope explicitly describing the intercourse on his wedding night. <laughs> According to the letter, Cesare and his French bride did the deed eight times. Isn't that a Catholic thing? What? You're supposed to send the Pope a letter about your wedding night. Let's the old guy live a little, you know? You know, that sounds quite plausible, actually. <laughs> that's... that's interesting. Huh. Send a letter to the Pope. Hey, so, uh, this is how we had sex on our wedding night. See, I put her in bed, and I put her in this position, and I rolled my fingers just in the right... Let's talk to Rebecca. That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work through psychological trauma. So I'm gonna be a more balanced person by the end of this? Oh, I have no clue. But the idea is cool. Are you saying that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on the train duty. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, you side with her. Communists. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Dream duty. What's up? What, anything else? Focusing on this. Oh, come on! Everyone else had two dialogues and you just gave me one? Ah, <sighs> Rebecca. Alright, let's check the inbox. Desmond. Anything actually addressed to me? Hey guys, I'm going in town. Am I forgetting anything? Apples, melon, banana, mango for Sean. Lettuce, cucumber, bacon, Canadian if they have it. Canadian bacon. Hum hummus. Dude, holy crap! You bought a you buy a lot of stuff. And that kind of makes me a little bit hungry now, actually. Oh gosh. Alright, uh. Okay, schedule for the week, and that is it. So I don't really get all that much, because I'm Desmond, and I'm always in the Animus, so I don't need emails. What about you guys? What's going on out here? Inbox. Outbox. Why do you still have these? Delete these messages! Can I delete them for you? Okay. Hey guys, I'm going to town. Oh, that was her that sent it. Okay. Ooh, a date with Sean! What? What's going on? Hey, what's going... What about drinking? Colleagues, we have been cooped up on this dungeon for ages. I feel it's bo it's best for both our sanity and productivity if we go into town tonight enjoy the local color. A bit of wine and maybe some music. Okay... He can't leave the sanctuary and I won't leave him alone. Sigh. Looks like just the two of us, Rebecca. And, and then Rebecca replies with... Uh, Woot, a date with Sean. Oh, that's, they're so adorable. So adorable. If they couldn't be more obvious about their, like, whole little sarcastic and, and humorous lovey-dovey act. Whew. Okay. What? What is this? Leaf. Oh yeah, did we ever get a reply to that? We gotta check that out. Okay, uh, antibiotic stuff. And get a couple of DVDs if you can find English ones. Uh, quick update. He sent the email out. What about drinking? Relief, where are the pain pills we have? I've got a ripping headache. And then she goes... In my room on the window seal. And Lucy has yet to reply to the message about if we can have a little, uh, date with Rebecca, or, or a little animus session with Rebecca. Damn it, Lucy! Alright, well, what's Lucy got in her email? Okay, access granted, inbox. Outbox. Ooh, 
Ooh, team supper. I like supper. I want dinner and stuff like that. Huh. But, nah, nah, I'm good. All right. Uh... So is that it? No, no more, no more dialogue? Okay, let's head back into the Animus then. Shazam! Bam. Ready when you are. So glad they don't have to plug this thing into my arm anymore. I just put my arm there. It's like, hey, sup? Whoosh! The Animus in, the animus in Abstergo had me have that whole little... Actually, I kind of like the Abstergo Animus. It had that whole display thing go above you while you laid down in bed, and it was really fucking cool. And it was like a display thing. And then... The only problem is that it looked really basic and shitty. And then the Animus 2... What is this? Is the chair design, which is, it's alright, but then you have to plug it into your arm. That was stupid. But then this one... You remove the whole attaching it to your arm part and upgrade the HUD a little bit, and it's cool. But it still lacks the whole awesomeness of having, like, gadgets hooked up to your, your head and awesomeness. But it is a little bit more convenient, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. So... I need to do some Romulus missions. However, before I do those Romulus missions, I need to clear up the last viewpoints of the game. And those are going to be over here at this last Borgia Tower. And then... Over here... Is there anything else? Not that I can see. It was a little weird that it showed the viewpoint over here, but whatever. Alright. I need to go downwards, which means... Ow. I need to go inside this building and use its quick travel point. Ugh. My stomach's actually starting to hurt. I'm a little bit hungry. Huh. Ooh. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Uh, where am I going? It'd probably be one of the last ones. Yep! Terme de Caracalla. Instant travel loading screen. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. What's up? How's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go investigate what is on here. Can I? How much is this for? Twenty-six thousand. Damn, that's actually pretty cheap. And then there's a Borgia flag there. I don't want it though. Hello, broken aqueduct. I kind of want to fix you. Who do I talk to fix you? Lovely tight pass. I guess I'll find out after I get to the viewpoint. So where's the viewpoint? Viewpoint. 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 It is in the opposite direction of me. Oh, well, okay. Ve oh, right. It's not Ven. I don't even want to give you a name, White Horsey. I know I used to. I know I rode you a whole bunch before, but now I don't want to anymore. What is that? Oh. I thought the rock was shining, so I could go and investigate or something, but it wasn't. Hey. Whoops. Alright, let's climb these edges. Ooh, I want you to walk across the path to get up there. Nope, I'm climbing the cliff, because I'm a boss! Hmm. This area looks familiar, I swear. Oh well. These guys won't mind me, you know, walking along this tower. Yeah, I could have sworn I have been up this exact same viewpoint. Huh. Oh well. Synchronize. I wouldn't doubt it if they reused a couple of their assets around places. Because, you know, when you make a big area like this, giant sandboxy world, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna reuse assets everywhere. The grass... The structures of buildings? Yeah. Especially since this is this isn't really like a super full game. This isn't like Assassin's Creed 3. This is Brotherhood. It's more like a not even expansion pack. Although surprisingly, I've played I put more hours so far I've put more hours into Assassin's Creed Brotherhood than I put into Assassin's Creed 2, which is really intriguing. Uh, but I think that's mostly that mostly has to do with the fact that I have put time into 
uh, raising up my assassin recruits and then doing other missions while in Assassin's Creed 2 a lot of the things were really tedious and I didn't want to do them. So that that, that could have a little bit to do with it. Um, actually no, you know, not even a little bit. It has all to do with it, okay? There you go. But oh, I need to get to the nearest quick travel point, which is to my right. However, at the same time, I kind of want to buy the aqueduct over here. Because we kind of left that over. So if we buy that aqueduct, then we will be very, very happy campers. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to ride along this area, come over here, buy the aqueduct, buy a faction building, and then use the quick travel point to get to the Borgia Tower. And once we get to this Borgia Tower, clear it out, we'll do the Templar layer, and then we'll start doing all the Romulus stuff, because we have three more of those due. I can see one over there, another one over here, and I think the third one is in this region. Alright, but first, we gotta deal with other things. Such as this broken aqueduct! Let's go! Whoosh! Come, white horsey! Wait, is there a black horse? Black horse, black, 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 then. Then! There he is! I'm gonna use this horse to get to that horse. Yeah! Wait, is that a guardsman horse? No, it's not. Okay. I'm hijacking that horse from you, good sir. It's mine! Oh, it's a ma'am. Oh well! Doesn't matter to me. Yoink! <laughs> Welcome back, Van. How's it going? Man, you gotta stop disappearing and randomly riding off and duplicating yourself. Look at that. Are they the same color? <gasps> you're not Ven! That one's Ven! You're a really dark horse, but you're not black. Get over here. Oi! Off my horse. Give your money. <laughs> he pushes the horse. Dick. Is there anything over here? No one? No one? It's interesting. Because what? No, no, that's not an aqueduct. Never mind. Hmm. Nope, nope, we'll leave him alone. My stomach is really. How do I want to say? It's a little bit active right now. In a way of, I'm a little bit hungry. I'm a little bit peckish. I kind of want a snack. So I might go get a snack or just hop off for the night because it is actually currently 2 a.m. I'm recording from. I, I, I've recorded a lot today. Okay. Broken aqueduct. Fix the aqueduct. All the aqueducts. Whoosh. How many of those have I fixed, anyways? Six out of eight. Where are the other two? Huh. I don't know. Oh well. Buying more buildings. We're gonna get these for the courtesans. They can have nice little water next to them. Whoosh. Okay, and with that accomplished, that gives us access to the tunnel entrance. Let's go. Tunnel entrance! Ven! No, 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 no. I want to go to Ven. Ven, Ven, Ven. Hi. Come on, Ven. Places to be. Yeah! I see it. The quick travel thing. It's right there. But is there anything interrupting our way over there? No. Oh, oh, oh. There's a big gap here. It delays us by like five seconds. Nah. Lame. That's okay, though. Whatever. Because I'll still get there. Mm hmm. Uh huh. I don't want to listen to it. Your excuses. Well, what do you mean you don't want to listen to my excuses? You know what? I have had enough of your crap. I do not want to be here anymore. I am leaving. Well, now where are you going? I said I am leaving. And you took my money. You. You. Whore. I don't. I, I didn't remember the whore word. Oh well. Mm. What area are we looking at? Four. Hmm? I want to look for. Oh, I guess we're just gonna go to Porta Nomentana. Gotta remember, I don't have that secret area next to the the secret tunnel entrance inside of that area over there. Whoopsie! I can fix that. 
Virtual training. Improve your skill and earn medals in virtual training. And sure, why not? Later on. Okay. Get on my map. We're going up, boys. Going up to that Borgia Tower. The final Borgia Tower, the final assassin recruit. Ven, come. Okay, that was... That was... No! Crap! That was not a smooth landing. I wanted to hop around the corner. I was like, come, Ven. Snap my fingers, and then Ven would come around the corner, and I would hop on, and we would ride off into the distance. That didn't happen. Instead, I tackled a random woman. Whoopsie. Yeah. It's okay, though. She'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she'll be fine. All right. Stand. Jump. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta find the Borgia Captain. Here we go. Full on conflict time, baby! Ha! Ha ha! Now, where is this Captain dude? Oh. Up here, eh? Okay, I can deal with him. Ow! Crap. I'm kinda worried about summoning. No, she shouldn't be. Oi! Guys, help out! I'll kill every single one of you before I kill that captain. He has no idea what's going on here. <laughs> and that's perfect. Oh, 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 right. Okay. Guys with poles, not so nice. Yuck! God damn it. Come on. Yeah. Yes! That's how you do it, baby. Stab and ex execution. Yeah! Yeah! Who else is alive? Oh, that dude. Fish him off! Oh, oops. <gasps> Can I use the spear now? I want to use it on this dude. The captain! I'm going to throw it at you, captain! Oh, I can't. Psst. You're dead. Just thought you should know. Alright. Nice talk. <laughs> Thanks for the ammo. So what's going on around here? Are those my assassins just chilling out, hiding around places? Oh, they're still fighting people. Oh. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna loot this box. Give me a shrunken head, bro. Or velvet. Velvet's cool, too, I suppose. Do you need help? Nope. She's only lost two bars of health. And he's just having a standoff. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Adorable. They're gonna try to fight on the horse's back. <laughs> how you doing over here? Ooh, that's how you're doing. Good job, men. And and women. Or man and woman. It's not really so much as plural because there's only one person there. Or two people. Or one of each gender, rather. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. No, no. Oh, ho, ho. Gotta watch out! Don't want to die now. However, there is something very interesting. Forge a flag. Can I get up to it? Kick. Kick it. I can try. Oh, nope. Okay, a little bit closer. Yes. Got the flag. Oh no, no! I don't want to fall. I just want the flag. Now I'm gonna go up. Aha! Uh -huh. That works. Perfect. Oh no! Oh, hello. How's it going, horsey? Uh, I don't actually want you because now you're gonna be my new horse, and that's gonna be a horrific experience because I'm gonna have an armored horse. I don't need an armored horse. I need a fast horse. Oh well. Let's get up and not screw around this time. I gotta go up. That's nearly a straight path. That huh. a uh, straight path with minor deviation. Yeah. Ooh. Up, 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 and then we burn the tower and get the synchronization point. And unlock another slot, the final slot for the final recruit. <laughs> I wonder if I get another call sign or if I really only have three at a time. I don't mind, but you know what I mean. Boof! The final tower! Destroyed!
Ha-ha! Whee! Whee! Meanwhile, those guys are just like, No one's gonna fuck with us! Too late. Tower of Fence. Alright. What those people say, that means it is time to go around buying the places around here.